In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a demo store for yourself and this will be just populated with OpenCart's standard demo store. It's just something that may be handy for you to refer over and back to while you're in the process of setting up your own store. So first thing we do is log into our control panel. To go to our control panel we can either click the link in the email that we received from Arvex when we registered our account or simply type in http colon forward slash forward slash cpanel dot your domain name. So I'll just click on this quite simply. It brings us to our control panel. So I'll just click login. And after we've logged into our control panel here, we scroll down the page a little bit until we come to domains. Now in here, we go to subdomain and here we can see our domain so we give it a subdomain name and i'm just going to call this demo now whatever name i put in here this will be the url to get to the site so i'm just calling this demo and when i go to my browser i need to type in demo dot start online here dot com and that will take me to my new demo store so i'm going to click create and we get our success message here demo.startonlinehere.com has been created. Next we go back by clicking here and here you can see my demo.startonlinehere.com domain has been set up. Next we click up here to go home then from here we need to scroll down the page until we come to Softcalus app installer. We click on open cart then we click install. So from here we can see our main domain name. So from here we just drop down and then we select our domain demo.startonlinehere.com. Now this is very important. We delete this OCART out of here. Otherwise we would have to go to demo.startonlinehere.com forward slash OC. We just change this name here of the database to demo. We're just going to call this uh, store name here demo and there's no need to bother filling out any of the rest of it. Now we can choose a username and a password here. I'm just going to leave it at admin and choose demo for the password. In here in the admin email, we can just put our normal uh, email in here. We don't need to change the first and last name here. Uh, we can leave that. And if we paste in our email address in here, we'll be emailed details of the install. Now we can just click a few of the advanced options if we want. So we can disable update notifications if we like, because we don't really need to get those and we don't need to back up. So then we just simply click install and this may take three to four minutes as it states here. Now we get our congratulations, the software was installed successfully and here is our URL and here is our admin URL. So it's just forward slash admin. We'll just click on it now and go over there just to make sure everything is okay. Now our username was admin and our password for this one was demo. So we click login. And there we go. Uh, we have our very own demonstration open cart store and we can just click on the store front here. And everything is fine on the front end here as well. So that's our demonstration store, handy to have uh, that we can go and play around with the demo store while we're building our own store live.